Chapter 99, A Dangerous Battle 1 Zhu Fangxin did not know that there was a huge crisis ahead. At this moment, she was working hard to climb the mountain. With her experience from yesterday, she felt that climbing to the top of the mountain today was a lot easier and took a little less time. However, when she reached the top, she was still exhausted. She lay on the ground and panted heavily. I'm beat. Suddenly, a woman in red descended from the sky and landed in front of Zhu Fangxin. The killing intent in her eyes was extremely obvious. Zhu Fangxin sensed it at once and immediately became alert. She sat up and looked at the person in front of her, asking solemnly, Who are you? The person who will kill you. Hongji attacked right after, wanting to kill Zhu Fangxin with one hit. Zhu Fangxin's reaction was swift. She quickly jumped up and dodged Hongya's attack. From the simple exchange just now, she could sense that the enemy was very, very strong. She was no match for her. Hence, she could only use her wits in the current situation and could not win with power. Let me guess why you want to kill me? Hanji had failed to kill Zhu Fangxin with one move. She wanted to continue, but she stopped when she heard Zhu Fangxin's words. She said with disdain, All right, guess then. If you guess correctly, I can let you die a little faster and a little better. Zhu Fangxin sneered in her heart. Although she was disdainful, she still maintained a serious expression. She treated the enemy in front of her very seriously. Looking at your clothes, you don't look like a girl from an ordinary family. But your bearing and words don't look like a rich missy with a noble status either. From this, I can infer that you should be a maidservant of some important person. Good guess, but you still haven't guessed why I want to kill you. I'm not done yet, although I can't see through your cultivation, I can sense that it's definitely above the spirit building realm. In the Namling Empire, there isn't a single family that can afford to hire a maidservant like you. Even the number one family in the Namling Empire is respectful when they see an expert like you. They definitely won't let you be a small maidservant, so you're not from the Namling Empire. Not bad, unfortunately, you haven't guessed the main point. The main point, Zhu Fangxin sneered and looked down the mountain. However, this place was too far away, and her vision was blocked by many rocks. She could not see what was going on at the foot of the mountain. Even if she could not see, she could imagine Yi Jusheng and that fairy sitting together and chatting happily. Therefore, with a hint of anger, she continued, If I'm not wrong, you should be the maidservant of that woman in white, who admires Yi Jusheng. Because I am Yi Jusheng's fiancé, she was unhappy, so she sent you to kill me. After hearing Zhu Fangxin's guess, Hong Yi's expression changed a little. She suddenly felt that this ordinary girl was not a simple character. But so had, even the most extraordinary person would die if they encountered a powerful enemy when they were weak. The dead were destined to be forgotten. You are indeed right, so I will fulfill my promise to you. I'll let you die a faster and better death. A short sword appeared in Hong Yi's hand out of thin air. She jumped up and stabbed it towards Zhu Fangxin's heart. In a moment of desperation, Zhu Fangxin took out the darts she had bought from the Reverse Spirit Heaven Wheel space. She cast the Reverse Spirit art and controlled the darts to attack Hanji. At first, Hanji did not take the darts seriously. When she saw two darts flying towards her, she casually waved her hand, thinking that she could sweep them away. Unexpectedly, 